Hello again folks, uh, as promised we're going to try and keep you regularly updated. Now the first thing I want to make clear guys is that the Integrity Ireland project when it started the objective was to keep people in touch with each other, get people to help each other, to support each other, to share information, ideas, especially for people who believed that they were being mistreated uh, by people in positions of authority and power and most especially by people uh, working in at the top end of our Department of Justice, meaning in Angarda Siakona, the legal profession, and of course in the courts. And the logic behind this was that if you have any sort of a problem, you're eventually going to end up dealing with the guards, with the legal profession, or at the courts. And if we can't trust those institutions, then clearly this so-called democracy is in a bit of a state. Now, one of the main tactics that we've discovered that are being used against us is to target and isolate people who are speaking truth to power. And this includes reporters, whistleblowers, pro-justice campaigners, activists, etc., etc. There is an increasing list of people who have been targeted, just like myself and others. Some of us have even been jailed unlawfully and so on and so forth. But another tactic that is being used is this endless uh, abuse of the courts, visiting vexatious charges on us, driving us into a cul-de-sac, if you like, where we have no time to do anything else other than to spend days, weeks, and even months, and in some cases even years, to trying to defend ourselves in the courts against rank after rank after rank of devious, deceptive, dishonest agents of the state. Now, usually, you're not supposed to talk about things that are going on in the courts. And that's, this, of course, suits them down to the ground. Because while we are keeping everything under wraps, they are engaged in machinations behind the scenes. There are ridiculous shenanigans ongoing. I cannot get straight answers out of the court service. I'm being denied access to the registrar of the High Court whom I need to discuss the fact that the order she produced somehow is considerably different to what the judge said in court and it's different enough so that when we go back in on July the 3rd there will probably be more delays, more convolutions. It is clear that the establishment is doing everything they can to try and shut down not only the Integrity Ireland project but anybody else who dares to speak truth to power. One of the ways they're doing this with me personally is to go after me with vexatious charges, to tie me up in knots and try to exhaust me by running me through these convolutions up in the courts whereby literally, and I do mean this literally, almost without exception, every single exchange I'm having to have with the court service, with Angarda Siakona, with uh, legal, so-called legal professionals working for the system, it is literally a catalogue of deception, of deviousness, of dishonesty, of abuses of the rules, of the law, of criminal activities. And every time I bring it back into court to deal with it, they heap more and more confusions and convolutions onto it. Just the other day, I got my twelfth bill in the last four or five months from the DPP's office, which is completely unlawful. It's an act of harassment. They know it is, but they just don't care. They seem to think they are above the rules and above the law. And that's why we have to keep on publishing this. 
And this is my tactic at the moment. If they are trying to drive me into a cul-de-sac where I cannot operate, where I cannot maintain the Integrity Ireland project, which is so very important to so many of us, then I will make my own personal cases fully public. Because we have to expose what's going on. It is literally unbelievable and incredible. And as we've said many, many times before, if they can do this to me, then they can do this to you. Please view Gemma O'Doherty's article in Village Magazine about the Disclosures Tribunal. It's very insightful and Gemma is a very brave reporter. She's suffered also for having the audacity to speak out. I am also placing a link at the end of this video to my responding affidavit to an absolute contrivance that has been put in by the DPP's office. I name several judges in this document. I name several agents of the DPP's office and other people working in the court service who are absolutely guilty of criminal conduct hand over fist. And we need to expose them and we need to publicize this. So please take a look at that document and share it. And hopefully I'll see some of you up there again on July the 3rd in the four courts. Thank you very much again, guys. Let's stick together. Let's keep pushing and supporting each other. Because one by one together, we will make a difference.